Hello, test takers. Thanks for tuning in to our Michigan English Test or MET test taker series created to help you prepare for your English certificate exam. As an English language learner, you probably already know that language is usually divided into four foundational skills, writing, listening, reading, and speaking. Whether you are taking the two skill or the four skill MET, you will complete the MET reading section as part of your test. Are you ready? Let's get you prepared for your Michigan English test. Reading is an essential skill in language learning and is something that we do all the time without even realizing. The written word is everywhere, but just reading words is not likely to help you improve your skills, especially if you don't understand what you're reading. It is important to practice reading with purpose Taking an active role in your practice will help you to hone your skills and build confidence so you can feel prepared for MET's reading section. So what exactly is reading with purpose? Don't just aimlessly read words. This won't get you very far. Set yourself a goal or task before you start reading to focus your mind as you read. Try to include a pre-reading task, a task to do while you're reading, and finally, a task to do after you have finished. These three stages will help you to really get the most out of your practice. Let's look at some suggestions for activities you can do to practice each of these three stages. Pre-reading. Predictions. Read the title or topic of a text and predict key words or phrases that you think will appear. Tick them off or highlight as you read. Research. Do some background research on the topic so you can focus on the language and not the content. While reading, context clues. Choose seven new vocabulary words from the text and work out what they mean based on clues in the surrounding sentences. Then look them up in a dictionary and check. Keep a vocabulary notebook to note down these new words and make sure to use them frequently. Headings. Write section headings or titles to summarize each paragraph or section of the text as you read. After reading, one sentence summaries. Write a summary of the whole text in one sentence. Challenge yourself further and make it a five word sentence. Question time. Write five questions you would like to ask the author. Use evidence from the text and your own knowledge to try and answer them yourself. Personal response. Write your own opinion about the same topic and whether what you read has changed your mind or perspective. Write about whether you enjoyed it or not and why. Remember to support your opinion with reasons and examples. This will help you practice for the writing section at the same time. It is a good idea to always use real or authentic reading materials when you practice, such as news articles, opinion essays, biographies, instruction manuals, short stories, political speeches, textbooks, and more. This will help expose you to different styles of language, grammar, vocabulary, and register, texts that address a range of audiences, texts written for different purposes, short and longer texts. All of these are important parts of your reading practice, so make sure you read a variety of different texts on different topics on a regular basis. In the online exam, some reading texts will be small, but there is an option to view PDF to see a larger version. You may open the large PDF as many times as you need so you can go back and check each of your answers carefully. Manage your time. You can see how much time you have remaining for each section in the digital test platform. Don't spend too much time on one section as you risk running out of time. If you are stuck on a question, move on to the next one and return to that one afterwards. Don't panic if you don't know the answer. Make an educated guess using the process of elimination and deciding which answer makes the most logical sense. Remember the questions are in the order they appear in the text, so don't jump around looking for the answer. Learn synonyms and scan the text for those, not just the words in the question. Finally, stay calm and do your best. In summary, keep reading. It is an important skill for learning English and should be a part of your daily routine. Read a variety of authentic materials. Read with purpose. Be active, not passive, while reading English. 
try lots of different activities, including summarizing, note-taking, and predicting content to help you prepare for MET's reading section. Our next video will look closely at how you can practice identifying the main idea in reading as part of your MET preparation. Thanks for watching and see you next time.